What's up guys? I'm gonna show you today how you can generate Pinterest marketing images for your Zazzle products. So if you are a Zazzle uh, seller, you have a store on Zazzle, or if you're a Zazzle aff uh, affiliate marketer, then this is the tutorial for you. So I'm gonna show you how you can generate Pinterest pins from your Zazzle products and from the web page. So you just have to simply have to navigate to your listing and generate the, the Pinterest pins from there. And so that you can really quickly set up a Pinterest marketing strategy for your Zazzle products in your Zazzle store. So let's jump straight into it. Right, so we can see here we're at Zazzle.com. There's a whole bunch of uh, products and stuff you can select from. I've selected one product here immediately just to speed things up. Uh, so we're at uh, the Millimillist Smoke Green Modern Large Initial Apron. So this is a product by a user, by a Guava, and let's say you want to generate some Pinterest images for this, so you can sell your products on Pinterest. Right, so you can copy the URL of the, uh, of the product, and you can go over to pingenerator.com. So what we would normally do on pingenerator.com is paste in a, any URL of any web page, and it will generate Pinterest pins from it. Now, Zazzle's a bit different, because Zazzle has some security measures that prevent you from grabbing all of the images every time. So sometimes, you can see here, we've successfully grabbed a whole bunch of images, so this is excellent. Uh, and we can select the images if we want, we can select them all or deselect them all. Uh, so let's say we've got the images that we want and done. So this is option one. It's able to grab the images and data from that URL, fine. So this is first prize. This doesn't always happen though, so we have to bear that in mind. Um, and the workaround for that is as follows. So you would go to your uh, Zazzle product and using the pin generator Chrome extension, you can open up uh, the sidebar here and click scan page. This is gonna scan the page for its metadata as well as its images from where we can select the images we want and generate pins. And this will take us back to pitch pin generator with the pins generated. Now, let's wait for that to happen. Boom, we can see it done here. Now at this point, you can schedule all your pins to Pinterest. You can download them. You can pin them directly to Pinterest. And of course, you can edit the pins as you like for their text and uh, descriptions. And you can use AI to rewrite the text and descriptions, sorry, the title and descriptions as you please. So it's a whole design uh, feature set up like that. But I glossed over the Chrome extension a little bit. So, so this is how you get the pin generated Chrome extension running. So you go to the, the extension page. Uh, you can search for it on the Chrome Web Store, or I'll link it down below so you can grab it. Uh, and you simply click Add to Chrome here, and this will add the pin generated Chrome extension to Chrome. Then you can uh, use it on any website. So once it's installed, you've added it to Chrome, it'll be, so you click the puzzle pieces down here, and you'll see it there. I pin it so that it's available in the sidebar here. And then you can go to any product in Zazzle. Let's try this one. and. Instead of having to put the URL into Pin Generator, you can simply click on the Chrome extension icon and scan the page for its data. So here we've got the apron data we want, and you can edit the, the, the titles and stuff here. Uh, best apron ever. And you get the idea, and you can generate the pins. So yeah, so. Once you're happy with the pins that you've got, that you've generated, you can see that the images are a little bit low quality here. So perhaps we want to use more high quality images. Ah, okay, cool. So we just selected the smaller images. So we could select these guys and the patterning as we saw fit generate the pins. So once you're happy with the pins that have been generated and you've selected the right templates for your desires, uh, there's a whole bunch of templates to select from, but you can also create your own templates using this uh, templates page. So you can create whatever templates you like here for yourself. And there's a whole bunch of shared templates here you can use that people have created and that have shared with the community. And you can favorite the templates too. 
Yeah, but once you, you're happy with the templates that you have, you can schedule them, you can pin them directly to your Pinterest profile, schedule them or download them for later. And yeah, nice and quick and easy. And you, this way you can start advertising your Zazzle products on Pinterest as fast as possible and start getting some nice traffic through to your Zazzle store to drive some more sales. So I hope, I hope that helps you guys and see you in the next one.